On the railway track, Tom and Mario have been waiting patiently for the rest of their team so they can start work. As the time reaches 3 a.m., they finally appear. I was, I was getting a bit nervous, I must admit. As I say, the time as it's going on at the, at the minute, we've got to be away from here, 20 past five. And it is just three o'clock, so not long, not long. Plus, we don't know what the ground's like. Yeah. It may be wet. I didn't think it was this short a time up here. I really didn't. Yeah. Have you got a good machine, then? Yes, I've got a good, <laughs> uh, I've got a good machine, man. And you're always against the clock on the railway. The team now only has a few hours to complete the regrade before the trains come back on at 6 a.m. With no time to lose, they head out to the site to begin. And on arrival, it's immediately clear why their work here is vital. But you can already see how wet it is, so there's obviously water moving through this, this slope, which is why uh, we've come to uh, regrade it this evening. And what we're going to do is, with the clamshell attachment, uh, they're going to excavate sections of the toe of this uh, saw cutting. Before the machine can start tearing out the wet soil, careful preparations must be made. So they're marking up the extents to our excavation just now. Half a clam in. Yeah, half a clam in, yeah. yeah. They're scanning it to make sure there's no cables or any other uh, signaling telecoms, um, any under other buried services in the, in the saw cutting. Give me the, give me the... However, the team might have found something unexpected already. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. They might have buzzed something, which is why they're hand digging. So obviously what you don't want to do is put a machine through it. If we take out any cables, it could disconnect the entire section, which would make a bad day a very bad day. What do you think, Callum? Yeah. What do you think? An electric cable has been detected deep below the ground. Is it your high voltage? Yes. It's running, it's running right. I've just kept him off half a metre off it. Yeah. Just have you dug down to it or no, have no, you not found it? We've got the trail on him. Yeah. We've got down. We got, we got one running down, Seth. That is it going to be in our road. Right. So there's a, a 450 cable that we've picked up on the CAT scan. So what they'll do is they'll hand dig, they'll expose it, and then we'll not use the machine to excavate in that area. We're only going to come to here. Right, start so, there with the clam. Well, start up there if you want. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, forward yeah, yeah. Me and Ash will keep you right, Graham. Yeah. It's accounted for, but we're already under pressure. They're starting to excavate that toe of the slope. That's all the saturated material that's, um, that's started to make its way to the track. Just typical Saturday night, isn't it? Typical railway. <laughs> it's, yeah. just, it's just the same. As the drenched soil is dug out from the side of the railway, Mario needs to find out why this site has become so wet. The two roads are coming down there, see with that, home farm road, and then there's another road that ties into that before it falls down, so it's like a kind of pinch point, so there must be a lot of water right, yeah. seeping through there, but hell of a wet there when you see it. Isn't it? After some further investigation, yeah. he might have discovered an answer. See the pipe? At the bottom of the wall there. So if I just one, move my hat around. There's one in the wall right behind us at the moment, and there's another one there. Oh, sorry, is it coming out of the wall just there? No. Ah, just there. So that's another sign that there's probably been water coming in off the road that's above the railway there. It's just another root cause of why we're, we're seeing the amount of water that's there. So there'll need to be further investigation once to see if we can try and cut it off above the railway, because it's always best to catch the root cause. But because it's got to this stage, then that's why we've had to put in the, the stone regrade of this small section. With the site fully excavated, the team lay down a permeable membrane and refill the hole with stones to provide drainage and support to the slope above. But these aren't just any stones. So it's a type of uh, stone that's come from a quarry that's been graded and is angular in nature. And what that allows us to do is it, it interlocks with the other stones, creates that sort of cohesive structure that will keep it in place. It's, do, it's doing a really important job. So by, by protecting those earthworks, it's stopping uh, at that location. It's reducing the risk of any potential failures or landslides. And it's helping make our railway more resilient in the face of a changing climate.
my ode to the 6G stone. To regrade or not to regrade? That's the question. Obviously, the answer is yes, because uh, it pays my wages. So... <laughs> you might need to keep that one in case you run out of stone. As Tom soon finds out, Mario isn't joking. On top of everything else, the team have been thrown yet another curveball. Ah, he's cleaned out like. So. I, 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 had, I had a quick look. I was hoping yeah. that you might. Um, Have enough. You might just die. It's just a little bit short, not, not a lot. With time counting down, the team have to fetch more stone to complete the job. So, what's it taking you there and back? Half hour? Yeah, something like that. Uh, we. We're pushing. But forever the optimist, Tom is still confident that they'll succeed. We timed it from the road rail access point to the pedestrian access to the site, so we know how long it takes us exactly to travel. As I was once told, there's the right way, there's the wrong way, and then there's the railway. And if you remember that, you're fine. And it's getting light again, look at that. Yeah. With the sun coming up, success or failure is now minutes away. Callum, once he comes down for a year, can you just go around and trim the edge of the terram off? It's now um, just gone ten past, the sun's coming up, which means uh, it's time to start running trains again. Thanks to the efficiency of Tom and Mario's team, the work is completed just in time for them to safely evacuate the site. Like, we're going to give up the possession isolation with uh, with just a couple minutes to spare. So they're going to start moving the machine back. There it goes. So they're going to make their way to the access point, final few checks, and then um, that's just done. Easy, eh? Once you get a start. <laughs> Despite the many challenges, the night has been a success, and Tom and Mario have secured yet another railway site against Scotland's volatile climate.